On today's forehand obsession makeover, we have the bagel maker. Now what's really cool about this video is you're gonna see that in the beginning, he was late on almost every forehand, but then we have him hitting out in front, beautiful follow throughs, great guy, lots of fun. We end up going to lunch, so that's the kind of thing that you do when you come down and you train with me. We hit, we hang out, and we improve. So enjoy today's video. Okay, so here we are. When we first started, I asked my student here to show me where he ideally wants to make contact. And look at that, perfect. He knows exactly where he wants at the ball. And that would be really cool. Like it looked like a great forehand. Uh, the reason I asked him this is because I did see some video before he came down to visit me. Uh, and so I could see where his contact point was. So I wanted to know where he thought he should be hitting the ball or where he hit the ball. And again, let's just take a look. Let's just go back where he showed me that he was hit, that he'd liked to hit the ball right there. Pretty cool. All right, now let's watch where he's actually hitting the ball, though. So you can see once my student starts actually hitting the ball, he is more comfortable back here. He, he sent me some videos, and even on the ball machine, when he was practicing, he was re every time hitting the ball back here. So this is where his contact point is, is comfortable right now. Um, you know, not to say that that everybody always thinks of hitting late as not a good thing. You know, I think you ideally want to hit the ball out in front, but we have had some great players like Steffi Graf and Rafael Nadal uh, hit some great shots late. So it's not the end of the world. You just need to uh, speed up your racket head and everything like that. But it does look a little uncomfortable as he's hitting the ball to me. I think we can just get him looking a lot smoother if we are hitting the ball out in front. So what I'm going to show you, you can see right there, way behind the ball. Now, obviously, this is a shot, and this is going to put a lot of stress on your arm as well. So we're going to go through some exercises to get him hitting the ball out in front and then also clean up his follow-through a bunch. And I think you're going to really enjoy this. It's going to be a huge uh, transformation on his forehand. The first progression we did is, is to really force the contact to be out in front. I threw him the ball underhand and had him basically hit it back to me. And this was showing, okay, this is how we're going to be out in front. Now we notice uh, another leak that we're going to start to fix is, is he tends to be very wristy at contact. And, and rather than push out a little further, which I'll show you what, I'm, what I wanted him to do in it here in a second, he tends to just flip his wrist over a little too much uh, and, and he tended to do this also when we were rallying as well. So it was something that I wanted to clean up. It was, it was a leak I wanted to clean up. Again, he really likes to turn that wrist over. And not to say it doesn't have a place in, in the game, but uh, to me, I wanted to just clean up his follow through a little bit so he can have a little more drive on his shot. Sometimes his ball would come in a little weaker with not much weight to it. And I, I think it was kind of the way he would hit and then immediately flip the wrist over to his other shoulder. So, um, But anyway, one thing that's cool is you can see right away with this drill is forcing us to be out in front. And that was the main point of this drill is to change the contact and to feel what it's like to hit out in front. So mission accomplished there. Let's go to the next progression. Now the cool thing, I'm still pitching the ball underhand. What you're going to see and we have him going open stance for a reason, just so it's easier to figure out that that ball is passed. Uh, that I'm sorry, that 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 he's able to keep the ball out here in front of him and make make contact. So that's why we have both his feet right now, basically facing straight ahead in an open stance position. So watch how he hits these first couple. You can see he's starting to get the idea of the stroke. He's basically taking what we've been talking about. And already he's applying it. There's look at that contact out in front. So we're really changing the timing nicely here. And look, look at uh, getting a little more reach and a little more clean. So again, you can starting to see the change happen. We're starting to see a really cool transformation already taking shape. The next thing we did is we had him step into the ball from there too, because I do believe you want to be able to hit open stance and close, and he likes the idea of stepping in the ball, which which he was still able to keep the ball out in front. Now, I want to go jump ahead and show you the finished forehand and how awesome it looked. And again, remember, we did this in just one day, all right? Uh, if you're watching this video right now, when I'm trying to put it out either Saturday or Sunday, basically we are 
we are accepting uh, students right now until Sunday night. So if you get this and you're watching this and want to join us, we are ex uh, accepting some more uh, private coaching co uh, applications till Sunday night at midnight or until we fill up and then we're closing it. But uh, anyway, let's go to the final piece. Mr. Bagel Master was a great student. Look, look, look how he's practicing that shower stroke. Starting to look like a darn teaching pro, if you ask me. Uh, so we're really working on coming here. Now, as we go through this and he gets more comfortable with this, I don't have any problem with him. If he can get this kind of extension, when he gets home, I said, you can still relax and, and, and come around, or uh, it's kind of hard for me to draw that, but co come over your shoulder with your racket. Uh, after we really get this muscle memory developed, though, so he really did take it to heart, and I just think he looked so much cleaner, and the ball was coming over with so much more pop, still had plenty of spin, uh, a lot of weight to the ball. He, he just started hitting a heavier ball, more driving, more consistently deep. Let's take a look at a couple of strokes, and you'll go, wow, this is really a good-looking stroke. It, it kind of reminded me of a teaching pro, so here we go. Without further ado, you can see the contacts now out in front. And look at that extension. Like, look at that. That's like textbook, right? Poof. Looks like, looks like a veteran teaching pro right there. Out in front, beautiful every time. So he really got consistent with his follow-throughs. We'll watch one more so he was able to keep it. Look at that. Even a little late, but he's holding that finish there. But a dramatic improvement Remember that first video we showed you how he's way back at his belly button and how now he's hitting out there and then continue to look pretty smooth. So great job, Mr. Bagel Master. I think that's what he wants to be called, the Bagel Master or Dr. Bagel Master. Anyway, really cool guy. And uh, we had a great time. And we actually have one more day to go. So this is this one day, but I did want to get this out there because... Again, impressive results in a short amount of time. All right, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Make sure to like this video. I always want to draw. I always screw it up, but I can't help it. I cannot help it. Oh, good. I don't think I'm going to mess up this time. So like it, subscribe it, comment, ask questions. And if you'd like a lesson just like this, you have till Sunday night. And I hope I put this out before Sunday. Otherwise, that would be a cruel joke but i do get busy but <laughs> you have till sunday night at midnight okay pacific or until it sells out all right guys take care it's pete from crunch time coaching signing off